Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this journey. In just a few moments, you will witness the transformation of this pile of materials into something like this. Except it won't be a Lockheed Constellation, but a Douglas DC-3, and a bit more fancy of course. This is our reference. And using a bunch of images from the web, I created this PDF, which contains a lot of the important cross sections of the airplane in 1 to 20 scale. These cross sections will form the ribs inside the fuselage. I have shrunk them by 5 mm in every direction to account for the thickness of the skin. If anyone would be interested in building their own model, I would be more than happy to share my printouts and other resources. Material of choice, a 5mm insulation board. Super light, easy to work with and strong. It also has a plastic film from one side, which can be easily removed if not desired. Next, we need the fuselage cross section in the longitudinal vertical plane. After cutting it out, I have marked the positions of the ribs and removed 5mm from the center of their cross sections. Now it's finally time to assemble the fuselage framework. Adhesive of choice, hot glue. It holds well on the foam doesn't make a mess, and it cures fast. I have also added supports between the ribs, mainly to prevent the fuselage from flexing while it's still being worked on. The hot glue does not hold very well on the foil, so I have removed it before attaching the ribs on the other side. The fuselage framework is now complete, and it's time to move on to another very important part of the airplane. The central wing. Located between the two engines, it is structurally the most complex part of any airplane. Not only does it have to create a load path between the wings, the fuselage, the landing gear and the engines, it also has to withstand all the vibration loads and used by the spinning propellers. And now, it's time to get messy. The framework will be built mostly out of wood and aluminium. Power tools are a great help. But all of this can be built by hand, like were most of my early models. All the parts are prepared, let's start assembling. This time I decided to use wood glue. Super glue can also be used, but it requires a much smoother surface to bond properly.
the wooden framework is almost done. The landing gear struts will be secured in these openings. And a pin through these holes will ensure that they won't punch through the skin upon landing. The outer sections of the wing will be detachable and secured by aluminium pipes that snugly slide into each other. The angle of the pipe was carefully measured, as it will determine the dihedral of the wing. That is the slight uptilt of a wing that keeps the aircraft stable along its roll axis. Once in place, the pipe was secured with a screw and plenty of hot glue. The framework is now almost complete. I now started to measure out the skin that would cover this section of the wing. I have pre-folded the skin to form a nice curve. Here is a nice trick. You can use the edge of your table along with the ruler to cut in a plane at an angle. Here I'm cutting out the openings for the engine mounts. And now assembling them and gluing them into place. Finally time to put everything together. I have glued the framework to the skin and covered all the screws with glue to prevent them from unscrewing. A few extra airfoils were added to create more attachment points for the skin. Now, the wing was finally sealed with more hot glue. The last thing left to do was to cut out openings for the landing gear struts. The fuselage was finally ready to meet the wing and after a few small adjustments, the two pieces fit into each other like Legos, and were securely fastened using a fair bit of hot glue. If you're still watching, chances are you'll enjoy my future videos as well. By subscribing, you'll make sure that you will not miss them. Also, you may have noticed that this is a new channel. By leaving a like and a comment, you would help me out a ton. It would make it possible for me to make videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, where we will finish the wings, engines, and hopefully control surfaces.